This is the Nobby 2, a touchscreen tablet design with kids in mind that boasts some impressive features. It is one of the most powerful kids' tablets out right now. Today, we'll be breaking down some of its functions and seeing if it lives up to all the hype. Design. Upon taking the Nobby 2 out of its box, you'll see that it has a pretty appealing look to it. It is thin and fairly lightweight given its appearance. It comes with a red rubber silicone case that can be removed. Without its cover, the Nobby is white with non-functioning red buttons in the corners. The strangest thing about the appearance is the grid of slightly protruding squares on the back. They look like they could provide some extra grip, but their main purpose is to customize the tablet with various accessories. Overall, I like the design. One of the most important factors, especially with a higher priced product such as this, is the durability. Although it appears somewhat fragile, the Nobby 2 is quite sturdy. You can't go dunking in water or anything, but it holds up well to drops and bumps. The biggest concern I had was the screen. It is not sunken at all, so if it directly knocks the edge of something, it will take the full hit. Basic Features The Nobby 2 has quite a few functions and features, but right now we'll cover how some of the more basic ones worked. Screen Graphics and Interface The 7-inch screen fills up most of the tablet's front. The graphics are bright, clear, and well-defined. There are two modes the Nobby functions in, so there is more than one interface. The first mode is Nobby mode, which is what kids will use when on the tablet. The other is Mommy-Daddy mode, which is what parents will use to set controls and security features as well as make purchases. The interface for Nobby mode was well laid out and intuitive. Eight large icons fill each screen, and if you don't want to scroll, you can condense them onto one page. Mommy-Daddy mode is password protected. It is a bit more adult in its layout, with similar icons all on one page. Sound quality. The sound quality is good, but the speakers are located in the back of the device, so sound is directed away from the user rather than toward them. Load time responsiveness. Because the Nobby 2 has one of the best processors out there for both kids and adult electronics, it should be able to stand up to some of the most demanding functions that can be asked of it, and it should respond fast. The internet was slow at first, but after that, the load time was extremely fast. Whether you were starting up a graphically intense game or downloading music, the time it took to get things up and running was impressive. Spinlets The Nobby 2 features something called Spinlets Plus TV and Spinlets Plus Music. For TV, it is like Netflix for kids. Same goes for the music selection. It is all kid-friendly. Apps, Games and Downloads the Nobby 2 comes with a lot of demos of popular games, like Angry Birds and Fruit Ninja. It also comes with a demo of a tilt sensor game. With 8 gigabytes and an SD card slot for memory expansion, there's room for plenty more apps and games. The Nobby 2 is impressive, and not just by kid standards. It is responsive, quick, well laid out, and fun to use. Plenty of parental control features keep it secure for kids to enjoy, but doesn't lessen their experience. Overall, it's a great tablet. To learn more about the Nobby 2 and to see other kids' tablet reviews, visit us at besttoysguide.com.